like shit. I'm about to log out and never log back in ever again. I gotta kill this Muskian guy and I can't kill him, dude. I've died. Literally, let me see. One, two, three, let me see. Five, ten. About 30 times trying to kill him in a row. But people are like, oh, you should have asked for help. I'm like, I did. I asked all five of you at the group at this camp. Y'all help. Y'all ignored me when I know y'all are doing stuff because you're all walking around. Well, you're just stupid for keep on dying. I said, well, you're stupid for not helping. I hate people like that. Why Why would you sit there and allow me to die five times in that and say, oh, you should have asked for help. <laughs> well, motherfucker, don't piss me off. So beta is which becoming your one of your mains? Um, I'm not sure. I'm enjoying the combat with it, but I was enjoying the combat with the Valkyrie too. It's just completely different kinds of gameplay at this point. Yeah, it just feels so different to playing combat that I have no idea what I'm actually going to do as my main. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I'm. Because I'm enjoying combat with this one so much that I'm pretty much just leveling. I'm not really doing any of the other stuff. I'm setting a couple of workers down and then going over to this one to level with and stuff. Right now. I see. I was just wondering. Because I'm heading back over by Heidel to... Uh Crypto, are you getting on tonight, or are you staying playing I something else? just logged on. About fucking time, I was getting ready to fucking come to Canada and slap your poo-poo out of you. What time is it? <laughs> is it the regular time? No, it's just that, uh, did you play it all yesterday? Yeah, shit. Yeah, a lot. Okay. Well, you right. played after, I, I mean, I went to bed at 10 o'clock last night, so... I, I had to work early, so I didn't know if you got on or not. Yep. I think it tells you in the guild thing uh, how many hours it's been since somebody logged on. Guild roster, I think it should anyway. Uh, no, it doesn't. See, like Dark, I just want to kick him out of the fucking guild. Just kick him out. He must be what? part. Why? Fucking nine days. I'm not telling you, I'm Crypto, I'm telling you right now. This shit ain't gonna happen like in the game. Oh, 30 days, we'll kick you. No, motherfucker, you can't log in within a week, you're done. Unless you put something on the website saying, hey, I'm gonna be gone for about a week. Don't need people hanging around in the guild when we get new players and they look at us and say, well, fuck, 10 out of the 50, or, you know, 10 out of 20 people haven't been on for, for 10 days. I'm ranting. I had a bad day at work today, so it kind of grew me. Yeah, I had a shitty day too. I don't know what it is about today, but it sucked ass. And then you know, fucking slime got on, so that annoyed the piss out of me. I talked to two people today and both of them asked, or do you guys PvP? Uh, not yet. Not saying we won't. Oh, okay. When, when you, you know, start the status of PvP and, uh, then, you know, get a hold of me and I'll join your guild. No. I told him, I said, don't work that way. You join now while we're low or, you know, forget it, dude. I might, you know. That's, that's stupid. Stupido. Uh, something's not fucking working here for me. But then, I tried to invite Beta, he was AFK. You know, so I was like, okay, so I went ahead and did about my business, and when he come back and, you know, started playing, he accepted the friend invite, 
or the guilt, uh, quest invite, or god damn it, group invite. I didn't notice I wasn't getting any XP. Crypto, I stood an hour, almost an hour sitting here killing these goddamn level 26 cultists, not getting shit. Oh, cool. Because he's so Because low I was in a group, and I just, you know, this is the character that I started on, and it was like level 12, and he's fighting stuff that was level 26, and it cancels out XP. Low level character cancels high level mob XP? Yeah, if you're under 5 levels, is that what we kind of decided on? It cancels it for the group, so you can't essentially um, power level somebody uh. with mobs that are 5 levels or more above the low level character. So you have to grind mobs that are like 4 levels or less above the low level character to actually farm them up if you want to oh. do that. So it does it on purpose so that you can't do it. Which kind of sucks because I was hoping for like super, um, you know, power leveling alts and stuff, but apparently that's never going to happen. Well, I got Slum one mark closer of joining. I told him, hey, you know, if you join, you know, here, you know, after we get the guild going, we can, you know, kill Gunbad. I said, they're on our server. He's like, oh, dude. <laughs> so that might be a reason to come back. Silly, silly. I think we should do it the old fashioned way, to be honest with you. What's the old fashioned way? Beg and plea to come back and get ranks in the in the guild and then start just taking over from there. Mm, well, give it a try. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> Fuck that. I can eat shit and die. No, I just, I'm aggravated right now because I can't kill this dude, man, for nothing. What level? He's 26. Oh, yeah. But I've, I've been able to kill mine all the way up till now. You yeah. Know. Yeah, the salmon ones I can't kill if they're not my level. Not really? Yeah, I can't even damage them if they're like four or five levels higher. I don't know what's different about the ones you summon, but something obviously is. Yeah, I, I took my level 16 all the way as far as west as I can go, man. Those, uh, stone dwarfs? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Them are some crazy looking sons of bitches. Oh, I haven't seen them yet. Oh, man. Those and the one eye works. Oof. Say, hey, how's it going? I'm over at Keplin. That's where I'm at. Keplin. Am I supposed to know where that is? And the way I got there, I had to run through this stone, like, mountain area. Keplin. Um, so that's, like, way east somewhere, I guess? Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, man, this game is so fucking big, it's crazy. 
I don't think we even touched the uh, scratched it yet. No, we're at like ten percent of the map, maybe. Looks like. Maybe even not that. Um, let's see if these guys respond. I'd probably say five percent. Yeah, there's still roads going west, but I have decided not to go any further west. I decided that would be a very, very bad thing to do. We're still uh, um, three content expansions behind, and then there's a uh, one that's being released in Korea, um, I think next month. So that means that we're going to be even a little bit further behind, so that means even more land, more places, more crap. There is a. There's apparently going to be some sort of arena. That's awesome. Arena would be fun. Yeah. I think. I'd like to do arena for sure. Especially with this combat. Well, you do have uh, the. Uh, the open world arenas that are outside of the major cities. You step into it, it puts you into PvP mode. Uh, it's essentially dueling arena. Yeah, it's a um, one. The difference what they're going to be doing is they're going to be uh, uh, with the it's going to be an instance arena is the new thing, and it's going to have ranks. That's what they need: the ranks, standings. Yeah, I believe there's also the instance forty v forty or thirty v thirty. You don't remember which one it is, but some essentially a big war. Uh, you're able to be attacked anywhere in the world. Besides safe zones. Wow. Are we going to do a guild quest tonight? Um, I wasn't planning to do guild quests unless we were getting a uh, couple more people to join in with us. Okay. But I keep failing at recruiting people, so that sucks. Seriously, I've uh, talked to six people. Uh, two of them actually, you know, uh, seemed interested. And then they just stopped responding. Um, Essentially, after I was like talking about um, getting on the website and stuff like that, I even sent one of them the actual thing to join the guild, and apparently they declined it or something. So, I'm really bad at this uh, recruiting thing, apparently, because nobody wants to join the guild whenever I talk to them. I know I'm a really horrible person, but. <laughs> I think they'd be at least nice enough about it to be like, yeah, sure, I'll take a look. Have you guys knew, wa watched the new Extreme uh, Winter Sport Ice Cross Downhill? Ice Cross? Yeah, they, you're on ice skates, and they t take it, looks like they take him like a, a what do you call the pops? Is it pop sledding? Do they go down the, with all the tubes and everything? Yeah, they have tubes, yeah. You know I'm talking about the thing that you've got six people, you take off running, and you hit like speeds of like 300, 300 miles an hour, and you go around curves and turns and stuff like that. Is that yep. called pop sledding? Yes. Okay, so uh, that's what kind of looks like. It's a small, it's like a small, smaller course of that, but you're on ice skates. They have ramps, jumps. Uh, they got this one jump that you got to jump and turn around a corner as you're jumping. 
freaking insane. So, what you're saying is we should look forward to blood being smeared on ice at the next Winter Olympics? No, because this is extreme, so I don't think it'll be on the Olympics. Yeah, that's not gonna make it. Wherever our RTE news is. Well, I mean, snowboarding and uh, especially the trick snowboarding and stuff wasn't in the Olympics for a while, but then they added it in. Plenty yeah, of broken but, bones and crap with that. Well, maybe. I mean, if it's anything speed-wise, like bobsledding, these guys will die if they do something wrong. St. Paul, where that is, this, uh, this is last night American Cameron Nash was crowned world champion winner after finals in the U.S. city of St. Paul. Where is, where is RTE News? Do you guys see Gilchat? Uh, yes. Now that I've switched over to the one that isn't spam. See, I can't figure out. Yeah, I see it once I scroll back up, but there's so much spam going on. How do you. Well, make a new tab. I create a new tab. I have a tab specifically for Whispers, uh, <clears throat> uh, local general chat. I think I'd leave in there. And guild chat. I disable system and channel and everything else. Okay. Now to say something back, one of y'all, so I know that I got this set right. Hey, how's it going? Hey! Can you hey, hear what's me? up? Yes, sir! Alright! Uh, yeah, finally got it! Uh, my new headset, where my nice. old headset, my old ass headset, got chewed up by the dog. What did you end up getting? Um, the, uh, crap, I forget what it is already. Well, sounds pretty good. Sounds just a little bit loud. The Logitech, Logitech G930. Cool. Yeah. Hey, if I set, if I stand still, is my health gonna regenerate slowly? Yeah, yeah. slowly. I'm like in the middle of nowhere, no potions left. And I'm in the middle of nowhere, and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 That sounds like the name of this game. Yeah. All I know is I see hell? people and I talk to them. Uh, I got quest on here. 
here, so I just follow the quests. That's pretty much what I'm doing too. Haven't tried crafting or anything yet. So I should try to attack things that are red, right? Fuck yeah! Uh, red is Kill actually fine. Purple. Um, well, you <laughs> want to prefer like the pink ones? They're just a, like a level or two above you. Uh, purples are five levels above, which is dangerous. I kill them all day long. There's mountain goats. <laughs> and sheep. I can kill sheep. Where the heck am I? Oh, I'm in Dope Mountain. Bye. Just for the record, the lightning on the wizard is awesome. Oh, nice. So, do, every time you use, do a wizard, do you say, you shall not pass? <laughs> The cane. Ha, 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 ha. I went the, with the witch, so unfortunately I can't uh, be that. No, hers is, I shall suck you in the black hole. Yeah, that's a whole different movie. Damn yeah. it! <laughs> this looks fun. Uh, peaceful music. Oh god, the music they have for riding your horse sucks. <laughs> I got a donkey. My horse is dead somewhere and I don't can't afford to get him revived. Why not? Cuz I'm lazy. Have you not been playing the economic game? <laughs> no. What does that mean? What? Buy and sell stuff on market? Fishing, trade packs. How do you guys do trade packs? Well, there's several ways to do trade packs. Um, one is produce them uh, with workers, or the other one is to buy the generic ones from each trade vendor and take it to the next city or node with the trade vendor. I use a wagon. Does it have to be the next one over, or can you like choose to go? No, you can go as far away as you can get, as long as the nodes connect. Well, actually, actually, the nodes don't have to connect. It's just that uh, you get a lower price if they're not. I mean, a drastically lower price if they're not connected. We're, we're, I'm talking probably two to three times lower if they're not connected. Yay! I'm in Imp City right now. Oh. Oops. Ah. Must be able to buy multiples at once. Just the twenty and a couple of these. Okay. And let's put this stuff on here as well. Okay, that was short lived. There seems to be a lot of different, like, variety in different wagons you can get. Mm -hmm. well, at least three or four, if not more. There's three that you can buy. There's the Shabby, the Shabby, or something like that, and the farm cart. I just got kicked out of the game. Hmm. Same one you. And then I got moved up to the AFK channel. You did that yourself, we didn't touch it. Maybe you disconnected for a sec. Yeah, I was playing something else and my internet kind of messed up. Thank you, Time Warner. Where you at? 
Ohio. Oh. Um. Yep. So I'm. So how is it? Why is it? Of course, I want to move, but I'm stuck here for now. Right on. Hey, well, how do you connect nodes? Contribution point. Uh, you have to go to the node manager at each node, uh, physically, and then uh, talk to them. Yeah. Um, then you do node management as the option, and then you can uh, click the button when it opens up the map for it. The one that says previous left. node? Uh, nodes have to be connected starting from a city or something, or from a terminating node. Essentially, uh, there are other nodes like the castles and stuff that have trade vendors at it that they can be uh, starting nodes also. But you pretty much have to take it from the city or one of the places that has a trade vendor as a starting point and then build your uh, network out from that point. Uh, every, uh, every large city is already counted towards. You don't have to invest in it to actually you know, use it. But it connects to several nodes that are around the city automatically. But you have to invest in one of the nodes around the city uh, to start connecting outwards from it. And oh god, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing here. I just do quests. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to that because everything else is just not gonna happen. But everything else is all amazing and awesome. Yeah, well. So which yeah, is why I've barely gotten any leveling done. Oh, purple is bad. Oh god. Well, you can defeat some of the purples depending on how good you can dodge. I. I used to play Terra online. It's the same. Just this is the combat. This is more fluid. Ah. Uh, here, go there. I get in there. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. I had a donkey, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> I think I left it in the, uh, other town, village, whatever. Uh, at the top left, is there a donkey okay. or horse symbol? Yeah. Uh, if you left click it, it'll give you a line to follow. If you right click it, it should auto navigate you to your donkey or horse. Um, if it doesn't have health bars below it, I think uh, it might be dead. Because I think I left it out in the middle of the forest somewhere by imps. And, but it's still alive right now. So I guess that is good. Yeah, you should probably grab it though. I don't know how much longer, it, you know what I mean? That's what I'm doing it's right now. It's just a matter of time <laughs> before something comes close enough that it... Uh, Gets it. it notice it, notices it, and kills it. I'm gonna go to a town and see if I can make money. Is that my donkey? Are you my donkey? No, you're not my donkey. I sold some stuff on the market, but I can't just get it from my character. You have to actually go to it. My most expensive stuff never sells. Well, the game is fairly new and some of the stuff you get is expensive. Uh, for very specific things. Well, 
what are these? I'm trying to figure out whether uh, the alchemy that I'm trying to level up is actually worth it. Cooking seems to be worth it though. All the buffs and stuff that you can get from it. I am nowhere near a building. There's one. No wait, that's a western camp. Uh, right here. What are you looking for a village for? I was going to try to do a trade route thing. Or something. Why is there a red dot on my map with a fake? Are you talking about the red ones with the <clears throat> looks like ninjas or something? Yeah. Uh, those are bandits. Uh, if you're carrying a trade pack, uh, they will attack you. Uh. Do they also attack wagons and stuff like that, and PCs? Carrying stuff? Uh, yeah, they'll attack your um, your workers if you send them somewhere with a trade pack or a trade item on, and they walk past them. The bandits will kill it. Is that a village? I like the map. Mm -hmm. Map is cool. It's like interactive. Thing. Yeah, somebody, uh, one of my friends from a different game was talking about this game. Very graphical. For free to play. That, no investment benefits. Your mount leveled up to level 5. Production has increased training. So just by riding my mount, I can level up my gatherer. Uh, you level up training. Training? Oh, okay. Yes, I know, I'm in it. You enter a combat zone. Thank you. Uh, you can disable half the uh, annoying pop-ups that come up. The problem is sometimes uh, I think some of them are very generic options to turn stuff off, so some of the important things that you want to pop up don't pop up. So you go to turn off some of the annoying stuff and then in remove some of the useful things. Uh. And I take it if you are blinking red, something's trying to attack you? Uh, I don't think so. Or does that just tell you that you're in a... When you walk into a, a combat zone, or a place where you can be attacked, you flash red. Like, it oh. has this thing around you. Um, even if you turn off the uh, notifications at the top, uh, you should still flash red as a thing around your character to let you know. Oh, okay. Alrighty, I am close to castle or not castle but uh am i idel or whatever ah. you're in a safe zone yay 
Let's leave the. I leveled up at the perfect time. I was about to die. Oh my gosh! I did not want to get back on my mount. I wanted to talk to this guy. Ah, oh, oh, apparently I didn't know about this guy. Uh, Abel. Okay, I got injured. Recover seven thousand silver. I left him in the Western Guard camp. I'm supposed to do here, but it makes me. Oops. Yeah. Well, uh, you guys watching, if you have any questions or anything, shoot. Oh, uh, where is <laughs> Now, if you sell something on your market, or do you pick it up at the money? Um, yeah. You can pick the money up at any of the uh, market guys. It doesn't have oh. to be at this. The money you can pick up at any of the ones. It doesn't have to be the specific city that you sold it at. Which kind of defeats the purpose of them not just mailing it to you. You, I don't understand.
Uh, do I have to go back to those where I registered them to pick them back up? It says zero time where they've been on the market, yes. but. Well, you can go to the same guy or any other of the market uh, NPCs. Wanna rush it? this crap out because the time ran out of them and I can't receive them hmm did you get a mail that said that they're ready for pickup uh, when they saw you'll get an actual mail in your mailbox that says they're ready uh, I I got mail. But I mean, like, news. I'm just gonna go see these <gasps> bonus XP ones up. So, scrolls. So, glitch. I got like everything linked. I wonder, so if I go here, can I link it to Glitch? And here? And here? Actually, that's. I have a horse here somewhere, right? Go to Glitch, see if we can do something there. I guess this was a bad time to use that scroll, but it's only 10%, I think it doesn't matter. God, this Yeah, I go to my registered, then I have one that's up for sale. That's time before the sale. Work supervised. Okay, let's get off here. So, um, I'm just still trying to grasp this whole work supervising thing. I connect the nodes to the city in which I have uh, some buildings and get some workers, but I don't actually tell the workers exactly what to do, they just sort of run around do their stuff? No, you assign them tasks. Um, and they have energy, and as a, each task is one energy use, and to refill that energy, it's beer or uh, there's a couple other things that restore even more energy than beer. Oh, so I have to buy these bastard stuff? <laughs> uh, well, it's really cheap to go ahead and make beer. Okay, let's see. So, this was worker. It costs you like uh, one energy point to recover, like, uh, I think like 15 or, um, energy points on your workers. Um, 
Well, as soon as your uh, your cooking is up, just like one, a couple of levels, it's really easy. Hmm. I see my workers. I don't see how I can tell them what to do. Skill. Okay, this is skills. Then there's just a recover and cancel button. Um. So if you click on the. If you click on buildings and you bought uh, like a refinery or something else, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, when you click on the actual building, um, it'll tell you what they can make in that building. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, and inside that bu the, the building menu on the bottom, it'll say, uh, you know, start work or something like that. I don't remember okay, exactly what okay. it says. And then you select what item you want them to make and select what worker is going to do the work. And then you select how many times. On the right side, you can say, repeat this task, you know, either one or a million times. You a warm Sorry. Really, your limit is how, mu how much energy they have left, but... I'm trying to figure out how I can run stuff in here. I mean, how I can uh, get a house. So you do all the um, the house management and stuff from the map. Okay, I'm just gonna get some houses here. It's easier to do the purchasing and stuff from the actual map because you can click on the blue buildings and uh, actually select what you want to build it into, oh, shit. rather than having to actually go up to the the actual house itself. So the gray ones I can't do anything with. Uh, well, they go in sequence, like uh, uh, one dash one, uh, one dash two, one dash three. Like you have to buy one dash one before you can do one dash two. Okay. Um, that kind of thing. Some of them, uh, you know, when they're set up, they don't exactly have sequence. You can do um, multiple, you know, what the first or the second floor on one dash one if they have multiple floors.
I'm gonna establish my empire in Glish. Um, I do have to say it happens to be one of the worst places to establish your empire. Because, uh, well, I guess you can essentially be the leader of the village. Because there's like ten people that live in the entire place. Yeah, true. Alright guys, I'm gonna head to bed. Late. Alright man. But, I'll try to be on tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright. Alright, see ya. If I have uh, like buildings and workers and stuff in other cities, do, can I uh, let that stuff go from the map, or do I have to go there? Uh, you can release anything from the map. Uh, be, uh, deselecting the uh, your workshops and everything else, you can just do that from the map. You can fire workers from the map. You don't have to be in person. The only thing you have to really do in person is uh, the connection of the nodes, uh, so that you have to go to each location and connect it, you know, in person. But that's the only thing. All the management stuff can happen from the map. And since it's all shared uh, between alts and stuff, you can be on an alt and still manage your other stuff. And the energy I invested, let's say in Hydro, that's... that's it? That it is what it is? Or can I take that back? Uh, energy invested, no. That's just there. Okay. Um, it's meant to increase uh, loot drops and um, other advantage things. Some sometimes it tells you what investing energy will gain you in addition. Okay.
Yeah. So we're working cup on huh? Wasn't the mean at home? Something new? should be here if I'm reading this correctly. Yeah. I have person are cool. Okay, it's gonna be faster in my foot. Just kinda sad.
question mark be sent up there there. Nah. Be here forever. Okay, let's see if we can connect uh no code is that a node? Let's see if we can connect this. Just curiosity sake. Wow, this is freaking awesome. You can have so many things. Like so many different specialty buildings. The I think the difficult part is actually uh, the resources because you have to connect the nodes to uh, your location uh, and then send the workers out to the node to gather certain resources. Um, even though most of it you can gather yourself if you want, but you can send workers out to do it essentially while you're doing everything else. No, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. I got a uh, tool workshop, which is going to be handy for me. It's not. No, 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 no. Just run. Let's give it a go. Oops, no. I meant by giving it a go, I meant. Walking. What I'm gonna do is see if we can. Management no one and on the connector, there is no one. Node, which is all this. Does that mean it has to be connected to the middle? Okay, I'm having problems connecting these fucking nodes. Oh, 
uh, which node. So I'm in Glish Ruins. And I would like to connect this node to... Well, either... S s oh, hold on. Where do you want to connect it to? Well, the, si the Glish City... Right, I think it's Glish, I'm not going to do that. I just, just attacked here. Um, to Glish itself. But I don't. I, I don't think I know how to do this. If I left left click on my map on Glitch Ruins. Okay. So when you clicked on that one, I'm looking at your stream. When you clicked on that one and uh, asked what the previous nodes were, you see the two uh, golden streams of light, right? Um, and you see the the one to the north. Yeah. That's actually connected to Glitch. Yeah. Um. So you need to go up to that one. Uh, invest the contribution points into that one before going back to the glitch ruins that you're in to connect that. Okay, that one has three contribution points right now. Is that not enough, I guess? Or do I have to connect it from this one to the last one? I guess, okay. Uh, that says how many contribution points you need to put in. Oh, or okay. how much it costs to connect that node. Uh, nodes that are more valuable, that r are essentially required to connect more resources and more useful things, can end up costing more uh, contribution points. That makes sense, alright. So, so they do, I mean, that obviously connects to several things that are very useful, because three is quite a bit. Two is uh, fairly common for stuff with farms and other things. Um, three is usually it has resource and it also connects to... Um, a couple other nodes that are essentially required for valuable trade and stuff like that. Makes it so much easier when I can see your stream though. Uh, trying to explain stuff to Nerdy sometimes and then being able to see your screen. So much easier. Yeah, I bet. I do. It's not necessary to invest energy unless you're, uh, um, the best places to invest energy nodes is ones that have farms connected to it and you're going to be using the farm with your workers because they'll get more resources every time they go out. Oh, okay, okay. Um, other nodes that is useful to do is places where, uh, you're going to be farming mobs a lot. Uh, let's say they drop something kind of rare and you just want to essentially keep farming it to be able to sell on the auction house or something. Invest it in that and, inc and uh, increases your drop rate. That makes sense. This is going to be, this is my test, you know, for crafting and cities and stuff. But if this works out and I actually understand what's going on and I can work with this, then I'll go to one of the big cities. I want. I'd like to have a, you know, base in one of those. Yeah. 
Yeah, as soon as I get more contribution points and stuff, I'm going to be moving out of uh, Velia into one of the other big cities. Um, I'm not sure exactly what kind of stuff I'm going to be crafting at this point, so I don't know which city or which place is the best operations. Because, you know, you want something that's going to have uh, nodes that have the resources that you want to build what you want in that location. Okay, let's do this. That was guy somewhere in here, I think. Go here first. Gyro dude should be somewhere here. What the fuck? That's, I think that's the one we can hand in.
sure exactly where this guy is. He's somewhere alongside this river. This horse can horses can jump, I guess. Come on. Goblins or whatever. shift around there. Is that him? I really should have bought a pet while it was on sale. Ah, uh, it'll be on sale again, it's all good. The auto gathering I can see being super useful. Auto gathering or looting? Uh, yeah, looting. Uh. But yeah, I was also yeah. thinking about the cat where it actually identifies resources. Oh, really? So I'm not running up to every single damn tree wondering if it's going to be able to be chopped down. Or running up to across every single tiny rock to see if it's actually mineable. It, the cat will let me know. That would be super handy, huh? If you do a lot of gathering for sure, that would be super handy. So Jar is this Who's Jaira man? I don't wanna hide, I don't wanna hide, I don't wanna forfeit, I just wanna know. Gyro. Where's Gyro? Is Gyro this guy? No, that's Joel. fishing quest. I'm supposed to fish somewhere near a gyro. I can't find that guy. I wonder where that fucking is. Oh. Could have sworn it must have been in Hydro, but yeah, I don't see him. Let's go. 
only has one level. And three is leveling up. And steel. And shining steel. Discursive over crafting result. Control key. What? happening? No, I'm trying to figure out where I got this quest or where the guy is. Fish near where Gyro is. Well, who the fuck is Gyro? Uh, I'm assuming it's the NPC that gave you the quest. If you click the NPC thing finder and just type the work. name, it should. Really? Yeah, it doesn't work, unfortunately. I mean, it works, it just can't find them. Um, that's irritating. Does uh, right-clicking the quest not uh, bring up a path? Mm, there's no path option, and there is no um, even quest when there's location. no path option. Sometimes right-clicking the quest title on the side of your bar uh, will create a path, anyways. Mm, no. Don't click the thing. Just click the actual title, like the name, uh, the yellow name. On the on the quest tracker, yeah. Yeah, right clicking it, it doesn't no, create a path. Nothing happens. Okay. Damn it. Some of them actually allow you to create a path to it. That's weird. Let's go find it on the form. Uh maybe look up in the database where the character is and then go to it.
Oh, ha, interesting. Apparently the name of the NPC is uh, misspelled, like it's wrong either in the quest or in the game. They're not the same. It's G-I-R-O in the game. It's J-I-R-O in the quest. Interesting. That's sad because most likely that's one of those uh, uh, some small bugs that'll never get fixed. I can see this driving some people insane. You know, trying to find an NPC by the name, even though the name is wrong in the game or in the quest, whichever is the case. Well, they did translate um, everything game in four months. Really? Wow. That's impressive. Yeah, it'd be even more impressive if the didn't keep running into translation mistakes. Um, but still, with the number of things that are translated really well, I'm actually surprised. I honestly thought there'd be even more mistakes than there is when I when I read, oh, only four months? Like, I figured that took essentially the full year, like the time that the game was released to before it got here, they were still like in the middle of translating stuff or something crazy, you know? But four months just to translate? Something that normally, like, some MMOs end up with teams of people working for years to translate it into other languages as the game is being built. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, that is insane amount of stuff, and you gotta understand the context of this whole thing, and yeah, yeah, all two, all tool tips to every single item in the game, including uh, everything else, all the quest text. That's weird. Oh, his name is actually correct in game. So I don't know what the hell they're talking about. So the NPC finder just wasn't working? Or did no. you not know about the NPC prior to talking to him? Uh, apparently, now. Gyro is the one I got the quest from. Looks like it, anyway. That's really weird. Should have shown up then, right? 
Um, he was fairly far from me. I don't know if that has an impact on finding him. Uh, it hasn't had an impact on my stuff yet. Like, I can be all the way on the other side of the thing and find somebody in Heidel. I can find places where you can craft bows and swords and armor. Um, trying to figure out what the name of the thing is that I need to find to be able to craft a staff. Crafting horse gear seems really useful, but. I just want to feel, feel special by uh, crafting my own weapon. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Especially one that's, you know, useful. Yeah, not that I couldn't buy it off the auction house, but I want to craft it. I don't care if I craft the armor. For some reason, I'm fine with buying that stuff off the auction house, but I feel like the weapon should be made by my own hands, just because it'd be fun. Longbow forge, long sword forge, like every type of weapon except for a staff. Mm. Weapon Workshop is only basic longsword axe and short sword. I thought it might be in the carpentry, but that seems to be bows.
I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright.
Fish.
Oh. Why did I do that? Why?
ASDA. I'm back, but I'm actually going to be uh, heading off to bed. No problem, man. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Alright, see you tomorrow. Take care.
Lots of fish I don't need. Not empty slot. <coughs> so we have neither orange. Let's go with orange, no? It's yellow and orange. There's no officer, no chapter over there. Uh, okay, users, groups, chapter leader, nerdy, no officer. Leader, officer, member, guest.
we need to have three eggs. I'll just play here on our voice server setting things up.
Fest und stark. Wow. Okay. Well worth thousand plus. Hey man, not much. Fishing trying to get a fishing quest done. Right up. No, I went in there to watch a little TV with the old lady. I was very upset with the game and I'm like, dude, I need to walk away for a little bit. No, oh, for sure, for sure. No point in getting frustrated. Well, I mean, it, it's my fault. I mean, after the fifth time dying, I should have fucking said, okay. Obviously, I can't kill this son of a bitch. But it just pissed me off. Those people said, "Look, oh, if you would ask for help, you know." That just really bothered me. I hear you. And I was really, really, super duper hoping that uh, that we would have done another uh, guild quest tonight. I guess Dag basically already bought the game. I guess he's just waiting to be able to play because his old lady's home. So I guess he's installing it, I guess, and he'll be playing tomorrow. I guess the way I understood Seriously? it. Seriously? That is fantastic news, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Because I asked him, I said, because some Russian guy on the website did some bullshit you know every time every time we have a somebody trying to sell some stupid shit or you know what I'm saying on the forums he always fucking writes me so I'm like okay fuck him you know who cares did you buy the game he said the exact word you said was yeah but she's dragging me off to the store tonight so I won't be able to play so that's what I'm saying so I mean to me he's bought the game that's you know so yeah that's awesome news I'm telling you, man, if we can get him in here, hopefully this week, I, I, I think we'll be getting there. Yeah, we're golden, shit. Another person that is that plays a lot and is solid, wow. This uh, Raging guy, I don't know. Him, him, what the hell? What's the other Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. The, the two guys, they, they get on for like 15 minutes and like, oh, we gotta go. Uh, and we gotta get some dedication. I'm, I'm 
Cryptor, I'm, I'm trying to recruit, dude. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's my time of play that's not good? I, I don't know. Uh, no worries, man. No worries. If we can get one guy every couple of days, we're good. Even if they don't play too often, as long as they play. And the more of us there is, the easier it is to get the next ones and so on and so forth. Yeah. It's all good. It's just gonna be slow. But not like it really matters to us, I guess. It, it kind of matters to me because I'm wanting this to prosper, dude. I really do. I think this is our game. Just got to figure out getting it done. I I have to agree with you, man. Like this, this is so good. I don't like. I, I I'm trying to think of a reason why I would play something else, and uh, just, I can't think of anything like. I kind of lost the interest in trying Legion. Um, if this game already has th three uh, content, content updates. updates plus one that's coming up in Korea, that means we're getting all of those for sure. Right. Well, shit then, that's, that's tons of shit. But, here's my deal though, Crypto. You didn't play Arch 8, so um, the weird thing about going from the Korea to the US a lot of stuff is different I mean you know people go over and play on the Korean and they come over and talk about all this stuff and they get us all hyped up and then we might not get a fourth of what they got you know what I'm saying because like in Arch Age when they brought when they brought the the um, uh, I call it the Guild Island where there's two castles that can be taken over by two biggest guilds. You know okay. what I'm saying? There was a lot of options in in the Korean version, like um, uh, what was the one thing? The Katmai was like the crafty. If you pay taxes, you could pay extra homage or whatever to to that guild, and you're able to use all their stuff. So you're able to get bonuses to your crafting and stuff like that. In the United States one? Nope. Didn't get that. Um, there was a couple different types of quests, like... Um, I don't want to say security, but you can go into... Um, um, like bodyguarding. You know, you can mm -hmm. you can pay you can pay so much to uh, in tax to, to the guild, and um, they, their knights will follow you like to like certain areas, and they will guard you while you do your stuff. Because that's all PvP area up there. That was some of the stuff that we didn't get in the in the US one. That's um, yeah. So it's kind of I mean it's it's cool, but. I just hope I hope they don't make the same mistakes and leave stuff out that needs to be there. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Which it didn't hurt the game in our age, but like I said, people were playing on that uh, the Korean stuff and coming over and telling us, and everybody's like. Oh man, that's gonna be so badass! And then when it dropped, everybody's like, "Well, this sucks." Blah blah, you know, because people, because we don't understand the difference. Like you know, Beta was saying, the 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 databases there thing has to be changed, and this has to be, you know, because I just figured this out when he was talking about it, you know, but it makes sense. Yeah, it's a lot more complex than people think. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm looking for this game to go really super far, Crypter. I really, really am. Well, I mean, it just came out and it's already number one on MMORPG.com. Two days straight. Yeah. And it's actually quite a bit ahead of other guys. It's like 0 0.5 or so ahead of the next game on the, on the list. And that list doesn't change it that quick, you know, because people have to... No. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's an 8-7 right now, and the closest one is Guild Wars 2 with 8-3. Yeah. So there's 
four points, five, almost, at least almost five point difference, or point, you know, almost point five, half of a point difference, I should say. But, you can't take that away from Guild Wars 2, man. Guild Wars 2 has a lot, lot, a lot of unique, uh, activities, I don't know the word I want, activities, uh, uh unique offers that oh, some sure. don't even, you know. But the only problem with Guild Wars 2 is is that it is a group guild orientated game. I mean, you can't do anything except run around and do grinding, you know, because you can't do dungeons by yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. And I think Black Desert came out at the perfect time for us, like guys like us. Yes. We played all these fucking games. We're sick and tired of the cartoon bullshit. And this is like nice. This is like a quality game, you know. And to be honest, Scripter, I'm not even worried about the dungeons. I really am not. I thought that it was going to take away from the game, but I don't think so. I, I honestly, I think it actually adds to the game them not being there because yeah, more realistic. You don't have, well, not only that, but you have the whole um, hey, let's go grind this dungeon out. No, I don't have to. And equipment really doesn't matter in this game. You know, at this point in time, it doesn't matter because, I mean, there's no levels on the uh, equipment. Yeah, there's no levels on it. Mm -hmm. None at all. So, I mean, my sword, well, I'm on the wrong character, but, you know, it, you can upgrade it. And it's obvious that I'm not going to get my money back from Legion. Oh, sure you will. No, Cryptor, it's, it's been the last four days, dude. They don't call me back. They uh, No, it just takes a while, man. No, it just takes a while. No worries. No what, worry. for them to answer me? Yeah. The other night, I waited five and a half hours for them to call me, Cryptor. And it's an estimate wait time was five to ten minutes. There's, there's something that they're doing. I don't know if it's... Um, being blocked, but I've got everything. I've, I've tried four different browsers. You know, I've, I've taken all the uh, pop-up blockers off. I've taken all, told them turned off all my security. I've turned off everything. I mean, my computer is at risk every day because everything is turned off because I'm trying to get a hold of them. And I even try to call their, the their phone Pax. number. And you know what their phone the number tells you? The we will not answer. We will not answer phone calls. Forever. You have to go to the website and request a, a we call back. Still understand. A source of hmm. great good in the world. That is bizarre. Yeah, so I, don't, I mean, like I said, I mean, my next option is tomorrow I'm going to send them an email. Because it says an estimate 24 hour, you know, turnaround, which, you know, it's just really aggravating. It's just, I'm like, really? You know, I'm not, I've spent, you know, more or less 100 bucks in that game. Probably more than yeah, that. How much money did we spend all these years, you know? Yeah. I'm not saying I'll never go back to WoW because every time I say that, within two to three years, you know, we go back and try it for a little bit, you know. Why they want me to come up here for? I don't. Oh, it's the tower. That's what. This crafting system in this game really super, super drives me fucking nuts. 
I mean, I haven't had a crafting system drive me this crazy since SWG. and you can be attacked in anywhere that's a combat zone really kind of sucks for me. Yeah, I guess we'll see what's going to be happening. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll probably pass on Overwatch. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy looking. It's so fucking fast paced, it's just kind of stupid for me. Because you can't even stop, you just run around like a nut job, fly, fucking bounce off the walls, you know. I don't know. It's okay, I mean, if you would have got if you got it, I'll get it, but. No, I'm not. Yeah. If that f when that fucking refund finally comes in, I will get um, CSGO, the Counter Strike. Oh, that's on like 16 bucks. Yeah. No, I'm I'm saving my money right now. I'm like I said, I'm definitely getting my 3D printer. That's that's number one on my on my list. And a few things here in the game. You know, me and a buddy of mine, we kind of got into it last night because of, uh, you know, we were talking about uh, the 3D printer and, and getting our game going and all this stuff and all that. And, and you know, he made a kind of a snot remark that, you know, well, if you didn't have your computer, your gaming computer, you would spend more time doing this. And I'm like, that doesn't matter. Because I said, I, I don't have to play MMORPGs, dude. You don't understand. Uh, I can get on and talk to my friends regardless because we're not friends because of the game we are friends because we're friends yeah and uh he, he said well then why don't you sell your your uh your computer and buy a a computer just for your for your uh, 3d printer i said because i don't have to sell it i have my laptop and he was like well uh um yeah but then you know you're still playing i said it doesn't matter what i'm doing i said you work overnight so it's not like we're gonna get anything done anyway while you're at fucking work. You know? Yeah, you gotta be kinda reasonable too, you know. He's just a, he's just a little bit jealous because he he can't play MMORPGs. He gets 
so enthralled into it, dude. I mean, he calls into work. He can't. He can't function at all. Wow. Because he's he's kind of like Dag. I mean, when he digs in, I mean, he wants to know every single little thing. I mean, he's worse than me and you put together. I mean, he wants to complete every little thing. I mean, every the knowledge system in this game here would kill him. <laughs> Literally, it would fucking kill him. So, and, and, and he's taken upon himself to beat the addiction, which I'm glad. Like I told him, I said, I'm, dude, I said, you know, it, how much I'd love for you to play these games with me. I said, but I know how bad it is for your health, literally. So I, I don't really press him on it. But I do press him on the role-playing aspect of the tabletop because he can do that while he's at work, you know. He can, you know, write things down. He can put his ideals down and stuff like that. But, yeah, literally, dude, he cannot play an MMO, dude. He gets, oh, my God. He got so mad at Slum, literally, because uh, when we were playing EQ2, um, Slum is a min-maxer. You know that yourself. So he was, you know, Slum was, like, making jewelry, I guess. And, you know, he's up to, like, making, like, at level 35, he was making, like, level 55 items. Mm -hmm. And... Chris is the type of person is he stays at his level. So if he's a weaponsmith, uh, that's what it was. Chris was making. Chris was a tailor, so he was making leather armor. Well, Chris was only like level twenty-four. So Slum's like, well, you need to buckle down and, and get your uh, your tailoring up so you can, you know, make us, you know, stuff. And Chris, like I told him, I'm not. I, I don't play my games that way. I don't boost one part of my of, of my of my uh, plate because of so that people can have stuff you know which he's got a point that's the way he plays and you know so I had to tell Slim I said man just leave him alone dude I mean he's not like you he don't rush to end game he wants to play it as for what the game is same with Star Wars Chris would not play Star Wars with, with Slum at all would not refused hmm. The only time I think I ever seen Chris go beyond what level his class was was actually in Star Wars when we were doing the uh, uh, the flight, the the space part of it, because that doesn't that doesn't affect the game per se as in on ground because you know space is just doing space missions. There's no craft. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. yeah. Plus he had fun because I took him out in the. And then basically not the Millennium Falcon, but it was the YT-2400, which is, what's his name, ship. And uh, we set out there and just decimated, like, NPCs, dude. Holy crap. He thought that was, like, the funnest thing ever. He plays a lot of first-person shooters. But anyway, but to the point of where, you know, he was saying I need to sell my stuff, I said, well, what about... Ooh, I need that. I said, what about, you know, when you're home and I have to work and you're sitting on your PS4 playing uh, Call of Duty until 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning? Why aren't you doing something? He didn't have nothing to say about that. <laughs> you know. Okay, let's... Take this. Oh, all our fish are so... Come on. Get up. Can I talk to this guy? Can I give him that? Oh, I was telling about in uh, Black Desert how they have like the encumbrance system and how night and day is completely different. You actually yeah. have to have a lantern at night time to be able to see. You can't just go running around, you know. And, you know. And I told him, man, that's that's one of my favorite things. Mm-hmm. I really like that in this game. Oh, one thing that used to bother him so much is the whole horse thing. He said, really? You're going to pull a horse out of your back pocket? I said, well, I, I brought that up. I said, you know how you always miss about an EQ when you pulled out your mount? Uh, you know, basically, it disappeared right beside you. And he's like, yeah. And like a Warhammer, same thing. I said, well, in Black Desert? No. Where you leave that son of a bitch, it's going to be there in the morning, or it's going to get killed, one of the two. I said, you have to feed it, you have to care for it, and if your horse is out with 
out further than 300 meters. You can't whistle for it. It was like, wow, that's that's pretty cool. I said, this game is just fucking amazing. This has everything that I want in a tabletop. They've got it in mm -hmm. MMO. Well, well said. I don't know if this shit is supposed to be this hard, or if I'm doing something wrong, what the hell am I? What's that, bud? I'm supposed to catch this one fish. Terrapin. It's just not fucking happening. That's the same what I was doing, the the, the seaweed uh, quest? Mm-hmm. I have not got one fucking seaweed since I picked that son of a bitch up. Not one! Nice, just as I s finished bitching about it, I got one. Nice. But I don't understand how you can be a fisher in this game because these fuckers don't stack. They don't. That's why you can only go AFK fish for about three hours. Yeah, that's insane. I mean, shit. I didn't come here on foot. What? I didn't. Ok, 
killing me. I just oh, okay, I think I left it on the other gun the same. Yeah man, uh, I have to say this is pretty much a perfect game as far as I'm concerned. I mean there's always little things here and there that you know you might not like or they're pain in the ass but I don't pay attention to that because it's been such a long time since we had a decent game. Right. Okay, so let's go back here. Where's the market person? Okay. Let's go. Committed by the head of the League of Merchants. You can trust me. Can't sell fish on the market? No, you gotta take the trade picture. Oh, okay.
I guess you're pretty good at sensing where the money is. Say this dude's horse from dying.
Okay, I'm gonna play something else now for a little bit and then it's time to go. Man, that card game is good. Is it really? 